Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a review on the perfumes from the Canadian niche perfume house that is called Libertine Fragrance. The founder of the company, Josh, is a designer and he is very passionate about perfumery, so he decided to create Libertine Fragrance as his response to the early commercial big uh, perfume brands and his concept is to create amazing unisex fragrances from the highest quality aromatic materials. His perfumes are available in the roll-ons, they are on the oily base, they sit close to the skin and you can apply them on your skin and on your hair and um, they are a bit lighter than the other perfume sprays that you can also get. They contain alcohol, so they are kind of a little bit stronger and more long-lasting. But now let's talk about the perfumes. I got a sample pack that comes in this beautiful little purse and I have samples of all the perfumes and I would like to start with the one that is probably one of my favorites from this brand and it is called Soft Woods. It looks like this. It is just a really sleek uh, packaging and um, Soft Woods is um, kind of pretty woody and uh, classy fragrance. I really like the combination of black pepper and very um, balsamic balsam fur absolute and also herbal juniper berries with sweet vanilla extract and flirty fragrances and very tender rose. This scent also features the note of musk and the thing that I really truly enjoy about this fragrance is how uh, well you can smell all the notes together. So it is not the case when you know like the opening is sweet or smoky and then in the dry down the um, fragrance transforms. This is the fragrance where, where you can smell all the notes together and I really like fact about it. And the name of it, Soft Woods, describes it perfectly because you get your masculine woods that are softened by floral, sweet and musky notes. And this is very contrasting scent for me because you can smell all the elements, you know, sweet elements, um, floral and um, herbal smoky uh, notes in it and I would recommend this fragrance to those people who are looking for something different. And if you're like me and you only have really special and unique fragrances in your collection, I think that this perfume is worth to be checked out because it is very unusual, it is very different and I would even say that you can buy this fragrance without testing it if you don't have a chance to do that because it is amazing and I think that a lot of people will actually like it. So let's talk about the next one that is called Traveled uh, Spirit. And Traveled Spirit is probably my most favorite one and it is very crazy, it's crazy to say it but I like it a lot. And it is a huge surprise for me because it features the note of cinnamon. And to be honest with you, I don't like cinnamon. I'm always very careful with it because it is just a very special, you know, like note. And, um, you know, like a lot of times it can be too much for me. It can be very overwhelming. It, is, it can be too spicy and just too intense. And now I'm very glad that I have found a scent that features cinnamon in it and I really truly like. So besides cinnamon, this uh, scent has the note of oak wood absolute, aged patchouli essence, vanilla bourbon, damask rose and amber. And all these notes make the you know, scent really deep and warm. So I think that Traveled Spirits would be perfect for the cold time of the year, you know, when it is really cold outside and you need to go out, then just apply this scent and it will keep you nice and warm. It is very cozy scent and it kind of hugs you. So, and you also do know that feeling 
uh, when um, on the Christmas time you drink a really hot spicy fruity wine and it kind of gets you a little bit drunk and carried away. This is what I associate this fragrance with. And don't get me wrong, I don't want to claim it as a Christmas scent by any means because I'm not a fan of Christmassy scents, probably because they all have a strong cinnamon in them and also kind of a gingerbread note, but this is what I say it. I say it with a with the winter and um, you know like around Christmas. I really like this one. And the next one is different. It is called Witch Doctor and it is an earthy herbal kind of smoky scent and it has bitterness in it. The most strongest notes for me are wormwood from um, I guess, wait, I have wrote all the notes on the paper because I couldn't remember them all and I don't, uh, didn't want to, you know, like, be stressed out. So the most noticeable notes for me are warm wood from India and Texas cedar wood. A nice uh, aged patchouli is complemented by the rock rose absolute and vanilla bourbon and also benzene absolute. So, Witch Doctor is a pretty um, edgy scent, I would say, and it is perfect scent for the man, but also for a woman who is looking for a modern but still classy scent with a little bit of a twist. So, the next fragrance is called Smoked Bloom. And Smoked Bloom is a very aromatic scent that would be perfect for spring. It is a delicate and very contrasting scent. So, when you apply it, you get um, a smoky vetiver that is paired with sandalwood. And spicy bay leaf and fresh bergamot soften the scent a little bit and um, brings uh, fruitiness in it. And then the Osmanthus Absolute um, adds more contrast to it and just brings the floral oriental note to the scent and just combines all the um, notes together in one amazing scent. I would say that this is a really pretty wonderful kind of floral fruity scent with a strong uh, smoky character and I personally really love to wear it because I like how smoky and dark it is but it is also very kind of floral, sweet and fruity in the dry down. And well, let's talk about the next fragrance that is very special and I was very surprised by it. It is called Sex and Jasmine. Well, Sex and Jasmine is one of the most um, sensual fragrances that I have ever tried. And it features the Jasmine Absolute and I would be, I will be honest with you, I don't like Jasmine. Just because a lot of jasmine perfumes that have um, a strong jasmine note in them are very floral and I can get a headache from them. And this is not that kind of jasmine. It is just now I understand why jasmine is essential because this is a beautiful example of it. And besides jasmine, this uh, scent features the notes of um, Sandalwood Absolute, Geranium, Neroli, uh, Vanilla Bourbon Extract and Aged Patchouli Essence, as well as Amber Grease. So, in my opinion, like my personal opinion, this fragrance is more appropriate for a woman, just because it is very sensual and floral. And also, if you're gonna wear this fragrance, get ready to be complimented, because when I wear it, people always say that I smell amazing. And you know what else you want from perfume? It's just amazing. So guys, if you like jasmine, jasmine, then this scent will be your favorite. So go for it. And if you don't like jasmine, try it. Because if you're like me, you don't like jasmine, I'm sure that you will love it. Because this perfume is just perfection. All right, the last fragrance is called Sweetgrass. And I'm a big fan of this one. Now, the strongest notes in it is rosemary from Morocco and also hay, absolute. And these notes make the fragrance really herbal and grassy. And the mimosa flower makes, um, gives this scent kind of a honey, honey-like note and brings uh, a little bit of sweetness to this scent, but you can't smell it. 
really, you know, like intense. I really like that it just gives a little bit uh, of sweetness and um, it um, brings these herbal notes together. And the perfect amount of tobacco makes this fragrance very interesting and doesn't allow the fragrance to be plain and herbal. But I also really like that it doesn't make the fragrance smoky either, so it leaves the fragrance nice and fresh. And this fragrance reminds me of a beautiful countryside. So, you know, when you are on the, out of the city, on a beautiful countryside, you can smell all the herbs, beautiful fresh flowers and trees, really intense because you're on the fresh air. This is kind of what I say this fragrance with. I really like it. It reminds me of my childhood and it is amazing. I love to wear it very, very much. And also, I like that it is not a typical cologne, but it is still kind of, um, classy, so I think it would be really beautiful on the man, but also on the woman, so it is a true unisex fragrance. Now, guys, um, that is it for the fragrances, but I also want to add one more thing. Now, this brand Libertine Fragrance is about contrast. It claims to bring opposite elements together. And this is a beautiful example when the uh, concept, you know, like the concept of, of the brand say, uh, does what it says. Because each uh, and every fragrance is very contrasting. And I really like that um, you get so, you know, like different elements. You get really smoky notes and fruity notes and sweet notes and herbal notes and you can smell them all. And also really like the fact that these perfumes, these fragrances, doesn't have this perfumery feeling, if you know what I mean. And don't get me wrong, I really like perfumery perfumes, <laughs> but um, these fragrances are very aromatic and I think that is what makes them so special. So guys, I hope that uh, you're inspired to try out uh, this fragrances and I really like that you can get a sample pack, you know, um, it is just a really nice thing to experiment with perfumes, to play with them and to see which one you like the most. And yeah, that is basically it. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and you find it helpful. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and we will see each other in my next one.